Flight conditions can be broadly classified as either coordinated or uncoordinated, which is basically a measure of how well the control forces are balanced entering any phase of flight. Think, for example, about how an airplane might make a turn. You could just step on a rudder pedal and skid the turn around like this, but then you have passengers being thrown to the outside of the turn by lateral forces, plus the vertical forces of gravity. It makes for a very disorienting and uncomfortable ride. A coordinated turn, on the other hand, uses an input of ailerons to bank the plane into the turn, rudder to move the nose around, and a little bit of elevator to maintain altitude. You can also fly uncoordinated in cruise. It's not just for turns. A mismatch of aileron and rudder trim might end up putting the plane into a side slip. Not terribly uncomfortable, but a lot more drag than you want. It's generally advisable to maintain coordinated flight, but it's also easy to get into an uncoordinated condition. You see where this is going. During certification flight tests, we have to consider uncoordinated conditions because it's important for us to know that they're going to be awkward, not dangerous. <laughs>